Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you baby today? Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Yeah, she's asleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a girl, yes? Uh, yes, a girl, yes. Yeah. Uh, is she a good girl? Is she a calm girl? Yeah, so yeah. she's a very happy baby. She's six weeks old. Um, so, yeah, very happy. She likes to play. Um, she's just on a different schedule to us. So she's awake in the night and all of us are asleep, obviously, or trying to sleep. And in the day, she's, um, she's uh, sleeping right now. <laughs> Tell us uh, your treatment story, please. Yeah, um, so um, we unfortunately have been going through um, a period since 2012 of um, recurrent miscarriages and different types of treatment. Um, so we've had um, intralipid infusion, steroids, um, blood thinners, all sorts of things, and five operations. And then unfortunately, from the operations, it left um, significant side effects, which meant the uterus was damaged, so I wouldn't be able to carry a baby. Um, so yeah, so we, we thought, in fact, we'd gone abroad for treatment, and that's when we found out, as well as being in the UK. And in um, 2017 uh, was when um, we researched about surrogacy. Well, you researched, didn't yes, you? Yeah. It was the same day I ordered the adoption papers, actually, because I didn't really think about surrogacy at all. And then um, we found Ukraine, found Biotex.com, and we came in July to meet everyone here. Um, uh, what was your consent process about Ukraine? Um, I mean, the, the, the cons, I guess we hadn't even heard of Ukraine. We didn't know anyone who'd come here. We didn't know anything about it. Um, we were a bit worried about the language, about not knowing anything, um, and a little bit worried about, I guess, the whole process and possibly having treatment abroad. Um, and the pros were, I, I mean, I think you feel quite isolated when you're going through things, so you don't realise that actually lots of people have issues in the UK. Everyone in our circle of friends and family, no one had fertility issues. Um, but you, you know, once we came here, we saw these couples, and you realise actually, yes, you're not alone. There are many other people, and they're flying in from all over the world. Um, so yeah, it's been a. Good did you make you new friends? Yes, yeah, lots we of. did. Yeah, we met lots of couples. So we met about, I don't know, twelve different couples. Um, so yeah, ones from Uruguay, ones from Germany, ones from Italy. Um, two from, from China, UK. one's from Indonesia, a few from UK, America. Yeah, it's been a very international experience. <laughs> uh, what uh, other country did you consider before going? Um, so we had um, treatment in the UK. We'd gone privately as well as on the NHS. So all in all, I must have seen at least seven different hospitals. Um, and unfortunately, we lost four babies. Um, and then we went abroad um, to India and we had treatment there, had surgery there and, and you know, after that things didn't really, we didn't get any outcome. Um, so we didn't, we didn't try anywhere else. We found the Ukraine and we came here and we wouldn't, we don't regret it. <laughs> Was it your first attempt at Ukraine? Yes, first yeah. attempt, yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Uh, how long could, did you wait for a document? Um, for the exit procedure? Yeah. Um, so uh, we um, had the, uh, so the discharge from the hospital was on the m Monday and the birth certificate I believe was on the Thursday, so three days. Is that right? Yeah. And, then, and then it went for apostolization um, and translation all and that took another week. Yeah. All in all, starting from birth till all the documents, you'd say maximum two weeks. Do you already pass your DNA test? Yes, yeah, we did that. So um, we tried to speed things up. We did our own tests back in the UK because the government's quite picky. It has to be its own lab and approved laboratory, etc. And then we only had to do babies here. So um, we did all that. And again, it was very smooth. You, I just emailed Oksana. Yeah, at the English department, she organised it, we came in, baby had her DNA done and off it went by FedEx. How exactly uh, did they do that? Uh, they take you 
saliva? Or yes. Saliva? Yeah, so they, um, so for, for us, they take um, passport photos, you take your ID, um, and then they pass a swab in your mouth on your, the side of your cheek. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's sealed, that's tested, and then they do the same with the baby. That we have a pass. In fact, the passport photo for the baby took us about maybe 50, fo 50 photos we had to take <laughs> to get one with her looking straight. <laughs> it's almost an embassy, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>